The New Relic APM Agent API allows you to record custom data about your app for a more detailed and in-depth view of your app's performance and the ways your users engage with your app. This tutorial will cover an overview of APM Agent APIs, types of custom data that can be added using the APM Agent API, and how to find and view different types of custom data. There are a number of great APIs for different New Relic products. For the APM Agent, there are two APIs that are commonly used and referenced. These APIs are the REST API. This API is for getting data out of your New Relic account or for changing settings. And the Agent API. This API is for controlling the agent and recording or sending data through the agent. Since I want to add custom data to my APM transactions, this is the API I'm going to use. You can find additional detailed information about the default data the APM agent sends to Insights as well as agent-specific info on the Docs site. There are three different types of custom data I can send to New Relic using the APM Agent API. I can add custom attributes to existing transaction traces and error traces. Adding custom attributes adds additional key pair values to existing transaction trace and error trace data in APM. I can also add custom events using the APM Agent API. This will create a new event type with all the relevant attributes that I define. And finally, I can add custom instrumentation. For example, I can add timing data to methods and transactions. Usually, I would do this when I need to dig deeper into a transaction. Anytime I see the question mark icon in a transaction trace, there's likely an opportunity to add custom instrumentation for better information about what's going on inside my app's code. And remember, different types of custom data serve different purposes and will show up in APM, Insights, or both, depending on what you add. If you add custom events, they will show up in Insights as whatever event type you define. Any custom attributes you add will show up in both Insights and APM under Transactions and Transaction Error Events. And finally, custom instrumentation will show up only in APM as more finely detailed data about your app's transactions. In the next few tutorials, we'll go over how to add custom attributes, events, and instrumentation.